Pope Francis could travel to Ukraine in August, according to the Vatican's foreign minister, Archbishop Paul Richard Gallagher. In an interview, Archbishop Gallagher shared that the Vatican intends to study the possibility of a papal trip to Ukraine upon Pope Francis's return from Canada at the end of July, and that the Pope himself is very convinced that such a visit would have positive results. He confirmed that uh, this possibility of visit is realistic and we really starting to work on this idea. It's not just a formal gesture, it's a, a real gesture of support, it's a real gesture of understanding. Andriy Yorash is Ukraine's top diplomat to the Vatican. He says his government is working to make the sign of support from the Pope a reality for the country's Catholics and all of its citizens alike. It's not a political visit, it's a spiritual blessing of the country. It will be a gesture from any other people in, in, in Ukraine that the most respectable religious leader of the world is with Ukraine. Pope Francis has publicly expressed his desire to visit Ukraine, but says that first he must travel to Moscow. Yet so far, the Kremlin has denied that any substantial preparations are underway to receive the Pope. If there are two sides, and one is not even willing to uh, shake the hand, other is repeating for many years already its invitation for visit the country, for visit the people, uh, I think it would be absolutely natural to support and to accept invitation from that side which is expecting for this exactly, we understand, spiritual, moral uh, help from the apostolic capital. Nearly five months since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the ambassador hopes for Pope Francis to see the destruction of his country with his own eyes, to express his closeness to the people of Ukraine and to pray with them for an end to the war.